Hello everyone, I am your host William, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some exciting news to share regarding an increase in CPP payments for Canadian seniors. According to multiple credible news sources, the Canada Revenue Agency has issued a new order to increase CPP payments by $1,050 per month for eligible seniors. This is a monumental increase that will have a hugely positive impact on the lives of millions of Canadian seniors. As many of you know, CPP payments have not kept up with the rising cost of living, making it difficult for many seniors to make ends meet. An increase of $1,050 per month will go a long way in easing that financial burden. Before we dive into the details of this monumental news, I want to quickly ask for your support. Taking just a moment to like this video will help my channel tremendously. For those who like and share this news, may God gift you a healthy, wealthy life. Your simple click goes a long way. So please like this video now to keep these important updates coming. I promise valuable information is coming that you won't want to miss. In the first part of this video, let's take some time to discuss the details around this news and why it is so important. The Canada Pension Plan, CPP, stands as a cornerstone of Canada's retirement framework, offering crucial monthly assistance to retired citizens. Nonetheless, the present maximum CPP payout sits at approximately $1,400 per month. This figure, though vital, falls short of meeting the needs of numerous seniors who heavily depend on CPP as their primary source of income. As the expenses for housing, food, medical care, and essential items continue to escalate, seniors across Canada have been voicing their concerns louder than ever regarding the necessity for increased CPP payments. Many find themselves in challenging situations, forced to make tough decisions between purchasing groceries or vital medications. In dire circumstances, some have had no choice but to sell their homes and downsize, all in a bid to bridge the gap and ensure their financial stability. Various advocacy groups representing seniors have been persistently urging the government to implement higher CPP payments that accurately mirror the actual cost of living for retirees. Despite incremental increases over time, these adjustments have failed to sufficiently address the rising expenses faced by seniors in Canada. After extensive public pressure and deliberation, it appears that the government has at last taken heed of the concerns raised. This recent directive, issued by the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, following consultations with Parliament, signifies a significant breakthrough. The order mandates a substantial increase in the maximum CPP payment, amounting to an impressive $1,050 per month. Let's take a moment to envision the transformative impact of this increase. With the new CPP adjustment, the average senior could potentially see their monthly payments soar to $2,400 or even higher. This significant boost will undoubtedly result in a substantial improvement in their overall quality of life, providing them with greater financial stability and peace of mind in their retirement years. The order indicates the increase is intended to better support the financial security and dignity of Canada's seniors. It aims to ensure all seniors can afford a reasonable standard of living and are able to cover their essential needs. The fact that this order comes directly from the CRA and has support from government officials makes it very likely to come into effect. Of course, some additional steps and paperwork will need to be completed before the higher payments begin but this is a major milestone. Clearly, this news indicates the government is finally taking meaningful action to address senior poverty and hardship. It shows they are listening to the voices calling for all seniors to be treated with the respect and care they deserve. I think this news deserves a round of applause. It is not often we see such impactful policy changes that can improve lives. This is a testament to the power citizens have when they organize and advocate collectively for change. Now that we've discussed the background and importance of this hugely positive news for seniors, let's go over the specifics of who will qualify for this increase and how they can apply. First, it is important to understand that not all seniors will automatically receive the $1,050 increase. There are eligibility requirements based on your income and contribution history. In order to qualify, 
you need to be receiving regular CPP retirement payments, so those who have started collecting CPP would be eligible. Additionally, your lifetime-based CPP contributions and retirement income will be assessed. There will be thresholds based on the average national incomes. Seniors with the lowest retirement incomes and longest CPP contribution histories will receive the full $1,050 increase. As your income increases, the amount of increase will gradually decline, but even higher income seniors will see at least some increase. The reason for this structure is to target the benefits towards those most in financial need. The increase needs to make the biggest difference for those facing hardship and poverty in their senior years. Once the new order takes effect, the CRA will automatically assess seniors' eligibility and adjust monthly payments accordingly. You will not need to apply separately or fill out special forms for the increase. The CRA has all your income and contribution data on file already. It is expected the application and approval process will take some time. The news reports estimate qualified recipients could start seeing the higher CPP payments in 6 to 12 months. I know many of you are excited and hoping the extra money comes sooner than that, but government policy changes tend to move slowly. While the anticipation may be challenging to bear, it's crucial to keep in mind the tremendous impact that this CPP increase will eventually have on the lives of Canadian seniors. Patience during the rollout process is paramount to guaranteeing a smooth and efficient implementation, ensuring that every eligible individual receives the support they rightfully deserve. Rest assured that the CRA will contact you directly if they require any additional information. If you already receive CPP, you do not need to call the CRA asking about the increase. They are aware of this new order and will make sure all seniors are paid accurately and on time. I suggest you just continue with life as normal while the CRA works diligently behind the scenes to implement these changes. Enjoy the peace of mind knowing a significant cost of living increase is on the horizon. As we wrap up this exciting discussion, I want to again emphasize what a historic change this is for protecting the welfare of seniors. We should feel proud that our country is taking this important step. Of course, one payment increase does not solve everything. Many believe senior benefits still need to be expanded further to fully cover living costs. There is more work to be done, but this is excellent progress that will directly improve lives. I hope the government continues to build on this momentum and enact more policies that support aging Canadians. Our seniors have given so much and deserve to live their final years with dignity. This CPP increase is a powerful first step. Before I sign off, please take a moment to like this video if you found this information helpful. Leave a comment sharing your thoughts on this news. I want to know what you all think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. I aim to always provide the latest news and guidance to benefit your life. I'll see you next time with another informative discussion. Until then, stay positive, my friends, and know that better days are ahead, especially for our deserving seniors. This historic CPP increase is proof that big change is possible when voices unite. The future's looking brighter already.